हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट 15 ऑफ एसक्यूएल सर्वर इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू टेस्ट कनेक्टिविटी टू एसक्यूएल सर्वर यूजिंग नोटपैड सो बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पार्ट 15 प्लीज विजिट माय पार्ट 14 ऑफ एसक्यूएल सर्वर दैट इज व्हाट आर द जॉइंट्स इन एसक्यूएल सर्वर एंड यू विल गेट दिस वीडियोस इन माय प्लेलिस्ट कॉल्ड एसक्यूएल सर्वर ट्यूटोरियल so in this video what we will discuss that is what is udl file and how to create the udl file so to check the database in my sql server i will go to my ssms tool that is sql server management studio and using that selection of master db i need to execute this stored procedure called sp underscore databases using exec command and uh, by using this query that execute this uh, stored procedure we will get the list of databases here using SS, SSMS tool that is SQL Server Management Studio tool but without use this SSMS tool can we see that databases anyway yeah we can see it how to do it using UDL file and how to create the UDL file let's check so I'll go to my notepad here right just simply open the notepad go to files and save as right and what are the name of the file i need to mention you can you can put your any name so i want to save it as desktop inside desktop i'll mention here sql server client or if you'll not to put desktop then go to downloads right here I mention here the name as SQL Server Client and save as type is all files and need to mention here the extension is .udl right and after then I need to save these changes alright and close this one and I'll go to my download section of my PC and I can see here one file is right you can see the icon is changed and its type is microsoft data link if i right click here and go to properties and we can see here what what the extension is you can see here name of the file is sql server client and its type of file is microsoft data link dot udl right so how what is the next step is i just click this one and you will get one interface to check the connection of to sql server you can see here data link properties and there is so many tabs providers you can see uh, all the o oledb providers that is using microsoft uh, oledb provider for analysis services for OD odbc drivers for sql server and there is so many native client at da 11.0 but as per my requirement i need to select it as microsoft oledb provider for sql server and second uh, tab is connection third tab is advanced we no need to check uh, work on this tab and uh, fourth one is all right you can see here all the properties is mentioned here as that is the workstation id is this one and my persist security info it is make as false auto translate is true general timeout it is zero so i'll go to my connection tab here i need to put it as my server name so what i'll do i just copy this this is my server name i put here and there is two way we can log into server use windows nt integrate security and otherwise you can use as a username and password and for authentication so for username i need to put here and password i need to put the valid password after then it, i'll put here as test connection right so i'll click this one you can see here test connection is succeeded and click ok after then for free select the database on the server so after click this drop down we'll see what are the databases available for our sql server see if i'll click this 
so guys you can see here there is databases is reflected right all the databases same we can see here using SS, SSMS tool using this command called or query that is exec sp underscore databases so whatever database list you can see using SQL Server Management Studio client tool you can see the same thing in my uh, where it is uh, I'll show you uh, you can see here using the notepad or dot udl file right after giving the server name and create user credentials user name and password you can see all same databases names here that means we can connect to SQL server using notepad or dot udl file there is no need of SQL Server Management Studio client tool to test the connectivity to SQL Server or to check whatever the databases we can have in, um, in my SQL Server. So I'll go to my presentation here. So what is UDL file? UDL stands for Universal Data Link Files. UDL files can be used to connect with databases like database types such as SQL, MySQL or Access. So universal data link file used by Windows applications for specifying connection information to a data provider. So this is my channel. Subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, C Sharp, SQL Server, MVC, Core, GitHub and DevOps. So what we have learned today in this video that is what is UDL file and what, how to create the UDL file and how to check the connectivity between to SQL Server using notepad or .udl file without use of SQL Server Management Studio client tool. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.